Hello there. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another Japan Star Wars Celebration live Q&A stream. We're, we're going to be doing these streams once a month from now until April 2025 till we get to go to Japan. So literally, the point of these streams is to keep the hype going and uh, just to answer any questions you guys might have planning your trip going to Japan, going to Star Wars Celebration, whether it's your first time at a convention your first time at Star Wars Celebration. So for those of you guys watching now, be sure to drop any questions in the chat. And if you guys are watching on the replay, be sure to drop your questions. I pretty much reply to all comments. So any questions you guys have, be sure to drop them in the chat. Now, I see I got a few of you guys in here. So we'll go through the chat right now to start it off. And then I got some, some cool stuff we're going to look at and some predictions on when tickets might go on sale i have a a hunch and i'm going to show you some stuff that might support my hunch potentially so yeah guys now first we had in the chat where's that my brother the mod nick what up nick dropping the japan flags uh so nick said my biggest fear is when we're in japan when the last day comes around i'm not gonna want to leave yo <laughs> Nick, I, I dead ass was thinking about that and I was going to even talk to you. Maybe 11 days isn't enough. Maybe we should make it like a full two weeks. We'll we'll talk and we'll figure that out because like I, I don't think a couple extra days will hurt. I don't think it'll hurt. I really don't think it'll hurt. So we'll see if we can figure that out. Maybe we'll do 14 days instead of 11 days and uh, that might help with that problem. <clears throat> all right guys we got our first super chat of the day shout out to nick with the super chat you guys know what that means once we once we get a super chat right my tricks gonna work on me on the money shout out to nick with the super chat he said i'm slowly gaining the desire to want to live in japan for one year of my life at last yo you know what's crazy i've been watching videos of people that live in japan that used to live in the states and stuff and how they just love it so much more over there and stuff. It's crazy just because of like how how the culture is over there and all that stuff. So that would be dope as hell to live there for a year. What? Like, but then I think that would make it worse, Nick. I don't think you'd want to come back after a year of like peace and quiet and everybody is nice and honest to each other and everything is clean and orderly. That's crazy, man. Thank you for the 499, man. Appreciate that. So we got Parallel in the building. Hey, yo, what up, Parallel? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Dana, the legend. What's up, Dana? How you doing? Long time. We got Pop Goes the Weasel in the building. Hello, Sith. What's up, Pop? Welcome to the stream. We got Mikey back. What up, Mikey? Hello there. Welcome back, man. How you doing today? on this fine Sunday. And then we got Hugo in the building. Hey, I'm here. How are you, man? I'm good, man. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. So guys, again, be sure to drop any questions you guys have in the chat about Japan, about celebration, and we'll definitely get to them. Yo, and shout out to Dana with the 10-month member chat. I appreciate you. You've been here since day one, basically always yes thank you so much thank you thank you so i've been like a stalker checking the star wars celebration website like every day so nothing new on there it's the same malarkey no updates just yet but i did some snooping so here's why i said i think i have an idea of when tickets are going to go on sale and i've said it on a bunch of streams but now i have like some stuff to like support it so i've always said i felt like tickets for japan celebration are going to go on sale in june just like it did for chicago but london tickets also went on sale in june so there's a trend there's a pattern where celebration tickets go on sale in june so i was snooping through some old stuff i think on facebook and i found this post right so this post was june 27th 2022 so what day of the week was that <coughs> one second guys so they posted on this date 
right? June 22nd, 2022, which was a a Wednesday. Oh, no, June 27th. My bad. So they posted on a Monday, June 27th, 2022, tickets for London go on sale June 30th. So like I've said in past videos, whenever they announce Japan tickets going on sale, we literally are going to have like a 48 hour notice. It's going to be that quick. So tickets went on sale on the 30th and we found, which is a Wednesday. So we found out on a Monday. So there is a good chance. I think Chicago was like the same, to be honest. They announced it on a Monday and tickets went on sale Wednesday. <coughs> Excuse me. So there is a very good chance that one of these Mondays in June, tickets are going to go on sale. So it could be Monday, June 3rd, June 10th, June 17th, June 24th. But one of those days, we'll get the announcement, I mean, rather. And then the tickets will probably go on sale that Wednesday. So keep that in mind. There's a very high likely chance tickets will go on sale June. So, yes, sir. Let's see what you guys are saying here in the chat. Smash drums. What's up? What's up, chat? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Hugo said, like you said, we're hoping for tickets in June for the Star Wars celebration. Do you know how much the pass would cost for approximately three days? So excited. So I did a video that might have an idea. So let me bring up this video real quick. So in this video, oh, we got to let the ad play. In this video, I kind of, uh, I made a little chart. So right here in the chart, I show the last three years. Well, the last four celebrations. Get out of here. The last four celebrations, ticket prices. So London for a four day was 195 US. Anaheim for four day was 195. Chicago for five day was 215. And Orlando for four day was 170. So Japan is three days. It ha it kind of has to be less than 195. I would say it's under $195 for three day in Japan is what like my best guess would be. It should be no more than that because like look at the past couple of years. That was a four day. This is a one day less. So honestly, if you're trying to like budget for Japan, just put $200 to the side. That, that should be more than enough to cover if you're trying to get three days. Now, if you're trying to get VIP, you're going to want like a thousand to the side because who knows how much VIP is going to be. But the VIP in London was 975 in Anaheim was 900 Chicago, 850 and then Orlando, 700. So you figure it should be no more than that 975 for VIP for Japan. So if you're trying to do VIP, have a thousand dollars to the side, it should be more than enough. But for like four day for the three day for Japan, it's gonna be less than two hundred. It, it should not be no more than that. So definitely keep an eye for that. Uh, Smashing drums is enjoying this Sunday. Yes, sir. Going good. Good. That's what's up. You're. We got Ricky in the building. Pop the bounty collector. Let's go. Lewis, what's up? Let's go. Almost missed the live. Appreciate that. Shout out to all 13 of you guys watching. Be sure to hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We'll be covering everything for Star Wars Celebration from here. And while it's happening, we'll be there in Tokyo for 11 days, covering before the show, during the show, after the show. So this is the one-stop shop for everything Celebration. Uh, still can't believe my first Celebration is going to be in Japan. Yeah, you're spoiled. You are spoiled as hell. So, and you're going to be VIP as well. You little bastard. My first celebration was in Orlando and we barely had two days of regular passes. All right. Where, where were we at? Where were we at? Um, oh, this is what we're talking about. Okay. So, like I mentioned, I was snooping. So, Monday the 27th, they let us know about London. So, Wednesday the 30th right tickets go on sale so we're gonna see a post just like this i think it's like noon right it says so 12 o'clock eastern standard time is when japan tickets should go on sale whatever the day is right 
And once that day comes, you'll see something like this. It'll say 2025 tickets available now. There'll be the link, blah, blah, blah. So when these tickets went on sale for London, three, three levels of tickets sold out. So right away, they posted this. Jedi Master for London sold out less than a minute. So if you're trying to get VIP, good luck. Say a prayer. Do a good deed before the, the tickets drop. And just pray you get lucky. But those sold out in like less than a minute. So this was their fo their first post after this. Then after Jedi Master sold out, four day was gone. Now, I don't remember how long it was. It might have been within an hour. I want to say I remember it being like 30 to 45 minutes, maybe an hour. But the four day passes for London, it was pretty quick. It was the same day maybe within an hour, maybe two hours. So Japan, I have a feeling, is going to be the same thing. So if you guys want that three-day for Japan, make sure you guys are home on your computer with good Wi-Fi. The day the tickets drop, make sure you have everything up and loaded and like an hour before tickets drop. That way there's no issue. And if you try right away, you should be able to get the three-day pass. But if you're someone that's kind of hesitant and you're not sure if you want to do Japan and you're like, well, I'll think about it and tickets come out, they are going to sell out. They're going to sell out quick. So so for London, VIP gone instantly. Four day was like an hour or two. Once these were gone, the same day, Saturday sold out. So Saturday is a is a is a hot day. It's usually the busiest day. And typically, you know, whatever celebration is, most people have off on Saturday or will travel or go on vacation for the weekend type kind of deal. So for Japan, more than likely after VIP, after four days sells out, Saturday is going to be the next one. So if you're somebody who's like thinking, oh, I'm only going to go for one day and it happens to be Saturday because of work or scheduling and stuff. You better buy your ticket ASAP because Saturday will go quick. So after that, I don't remember how long it took for like Sunday and Friday and Thursday to sell out. but Or Monday. I think it was Monday, actually. It was London was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. But Saturday, Saturday, four day and VIP were all gone the same day that the, the tickets went on sale. So that's my prediction for tickets for Japan. Sometime in June, probably mid to late June. So just be prepared, guys. It's going to come out of nowhere. You're going to have a two-day warning, and that's it. So, yeah. Dude, that's going to be a sick trip. Yeah, the trip is going to be, like, beyond epic. If you had to choose a guest that you want at all costs at Celebration in Japan... Oh, Mark Hamill. Easily, Mark Hamill is the next one that I'm dying to meet. It would be Mark Hamill. Then it would be Natalie Portman. But uh, but Mark, I, I just missed him last year at San Fran Expo. And, like, I just, it just sucks because he doesn't do a lot of shows. So he did San Fran. And I think, so that was last year, 2023. The last time he was at a convention was Orlando 2017. So it's a rare thing, man. So I'm praying Mark goes, but I don't know. I don't know if he wants to do that long ass flight to Japan, you know, him being up there in age and stuff. I don't think that's on like his his top list of things to do right now is go to Japan. But I have a feeling 2027, the fifth year anniversary of A New Hope, whatever celebration that is, it should be in the States. I have a feeling he'll be at that one. And that will be one for the books. That'll be one to remember. So I guess we'll see. Good question, though, Hugo. And again, guys, if you guys are just getting in, be sure to comment down any questions you have about Celebration, about Japan. And if you guys are watching on the replay, go ahead and do the same thing. I pretty much reply to all comments. So Clone Slayer, bro, I just talked about it for like 10 minutes. You just popped in, right? Clone Slayer, Clone Slayer. First of all, how you doing, bro? So literally, you just missed it. And um, it should. my best guess is this June, because I'm looking at past trends. Chicago went on sale in June. 
Last year, London went on sale in June. They let us know on the 27th, and then tickets went on sale the 30th. So my best guess is tickets will be this June, mid to late June. So, yeah. Uh, what up, Anthony? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Will Mark Hamill be there? So it's not confirmed. There's None of the guests for Japan are confirmed yet. But, I mean, I would love for him to be there. But who knows? Who knows? Pop Goes the Weasel said, I was queuing for 15 minutes and managed two four-day passes. I don't think it was long after that that the four days were sold out. Yeah, I, like it might have been like 30 minutes, Ben. It might have been like 30 minutes because I remember I think I was in there and I think it took me like 30 minutes to get through everything and get and get my four-day. And I think when I went back to go look, they were gone already. So, yeah, for Japan, those three-day passes are going to go like quick, super quick. What up, Spoa T? When are they coming back to LA? Bro, not for a while. It was just there. It was just in Anaheim 2022, so two years ago. So, honestly, it's going to be a minute. 2025 is Japan. I have a feeling we're going to get one in 2026 and 2027. And my guess is it might be like Orlando, Chicago or Chicago, Orlando. So I think the next two will probably be in the States and maybe on the East Coast before it goes back out West. It's just the feeling that I have. We'll see. So excited when there will be guest announcements every week before the event. It's one of the best excitement. Bro, that was prime. I, I remember before London waking up and there being an announcement and me hauling ass on my computer to make a video, breaking it down and dropping it. So, yeah, that those announcements start like the month, maybe two months before. So maybe in February, we'll start getting our first guest announcements, February of 2025. And I will be dropping those videos quick quick updating all the guests all the exclusives all the panels all that stuff right right sylvie right sylvie right oh i forgot cats cats don't talk if i get to meet mark hamill i would ask him can you do the joker voice that'd be so cool to to hear in person if i ever meet him i just want to hear him say you fought in the Clone Wars? I just love that line from A New Hope so much. So hopefully he goes to Celebration or another convention this year. Like, I, I need to go because I regret so bad that I missed seeing Mark Hamill last year in San Francisco. Clone Slayer says, all right, thanks, bro. See you there. Yeah, man. I will be there all three days. And you guys, if you're in Tokyo and stuff, I will be running around Tokyo. Osaka, Chiba, the eight days before celebration. So I'll be I'll be all over. Ricky says last year celebration Sunday sold out three days later and Friday seven days later. OK, so that that's pretty quick. I think Japan's going to be quicker, man, because it hasn't been there in so long. So. London was pretty quick. I think Japan's going to sell out quicker. As you were already had several as you have already had several celebrations, I was wondering has there ever been a guest canceled at the last moment? I was so scared for London. You know, there's not much that I could think of. I think most people make it to celebration like they show up. There might there might have been people that canceled, but it might have been like a lower level, like side character that I wasn't really too worried about. But as far as like big names like Hayden and Hewin and stuff like that. No, I haven't seen most of them cancel. If anything, that a lot of more times they'll show up as surprises. Like for Anaheim, nobody knew Hayden was going to show up. He showed up for a few panels and stuff. He wasn't doing photos and autos. But he showed up. And then also at, was it Anaheim or was it London? Uh, Rosario showed up and we didn't expect it at all. It might have been Anaheim. It might have been Anaheim. 
for the Ahsoka panel, Rosario came out of nowhere and she literally was filming the day before. So if anything, it's it's more likely for guests to surprise you and show up versus cancel. So you don't got to worry too, too much about that. Uh, Ricky says, don't wait. Just get your celebration passes ASAP. Worry about the flight and hotel later. Exactly. Yep, exactly. Even though flights and hotels should be uh, available to book, I think, like, roughly April, May. So literally, you could potentially do that before the tickets even go on sale, which is what I'm doing. For the hotel, for sure, I'm going to book it ASAP. The flight, I'm going to stalk it for, like, a month just to see how the prices fluctuate. And if I see it consistently around the same price and I feel like that's the best it's going to get, I'm pulling the trigger so quick to not worry about it. But all my hotels, booking through Expedia, free cancellation, and you pay when you check in. So it just makes life so much easier. Yeah, no doubt. You're going to have to take a flight. Yeah, the flight for us is like 18 hours to Tokyo, which is wild. So not looking forward to that. But the minute we land, like the the energy and the adrenaline we're going to have, like landing in Tokyo, being in Japan is going to be like through the roof. What up, Faiz? Shin Hadi. Yep. That's uh that's my baby right there. Shin Batty. I'm pretty sure she'll be there. So cool that it's in Tokyo, like such cool scenery. It really is. Like I've always wanted to go to Tokyo, but I've always been hesitant because of that 18 hour flight. But now that celebration is there, it's kind of like it's two for one. I, I don't want to miss the celebration because it's the 20 year anniversary of Revenge of the Sith, which is my favorite movie. And then it's Tokyo. So it's like I get to experience both things at once. I know it's going to be very overwhelming for me. Not maybe not the celebration part because I'm used to celebration. This will be my fifth. But like the excitement of Tokyo, because like I love like Nintendo. I love Pokemon. I love retro video game consoles. I love cars like like Skylines and, and Civics and all that stuff. So a lot of the things that I grew up loving, I'm going to see there everywhere. So it's going to be like it's going to be a, a sensory overload. Like if we're walking through like the Shibuya crossing and you just see like all this Nintendo stuff, this Pokemon stuff, Skylines running around like it's going to be like a dream almost. It's it's insane. It's insane. Do you think the next Star Wars celebration would be in my area? Anthony Jameson. I don't know where you live. What's your area? So I think 2026 and 2027, if we do get two back to back, I, I'm guessing Orlando and Chicago. I'm just really guessing Chicago because I'm being selfish because that was my favorite celebration and I'm dying for it to go back. And yo, Ricky, if it does go back to Chicago... Like, deadass, we should stay at that same hotel that was in downtown and we'll just take the bus over in the morning. Like, that was so, that was like such a perfect situation. Like, having that hotel right there, walking distance to everything, hopping on the bus, free ride to the place. Like, I literally would want to stay at that same hotel, walk to the Nike store right there, walk to the Bean, go to Luminati's. Ah, oh, Chicago's such a vibe, bro. We'll get to uh, meet up with the homie Retney out there. Retney's Holocron. I'm really looking forward to the photos for Celebration in Japan. I love the du the duels in London. And a Christensen Portman photo would be incredible in Japan. Yo, Hugo. If we get a Hayden and, and Natalie photo. Oh, my God. That is going to go so fast, so fast. I'm getting my Darth Plagueis novel signed by Ian McDermott next week at GalaxyCon. Pretty excited to meet him. Yo, that's a good idea. I have that book, too. That'd be awesome to have him sign it. That's going to be really cool. When a hey, smash drums, when you give it to him, you should be like, have you ever heard about this tragedy? Oh, man. That would be, I bet you he gets that all the time, but I mean. You 
ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Such an iconic and classic line, yo. Oh, my God. And again, yo, shout out to all 21 of you guys in here right now. Appreciate you guys. Be sure to hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe. The link to both channels are down in the description. Star Wars Sith, the main channel, and Sith Talk Podcast, which is the podcast channel. And I will be covering all updates and how to for Star Wars Celebration. Uh, Faye said, I'm so pissed Shin didn't end up with Thrawn and instead get stranded alone. I wanted to see her in power. Yo, I agree with you 100%. Like, man, she needed to be with Thrawn because I wanted to see her get more power with Thrawn. It'd be crazy to see her on Dathomir and just to get to see her, like, fight with everyone else more. I hope I hope they do her character justice because honestly, ba Balin and Shin were the best part of the Ahsoka show. Like hands down, my favorite part of the show. Oh, Pennsylvania, you got a um, you got a show coming up soon, um, in Philly, the uh, Fan Expo of Philadelphia is about to have dope people. It's in the beginning of May, but Celebration has never been there. I think the closest for you would be like Chicago, right? Because I know they've done it there before. So there's that potential for sure. Ricky said, hell yeah, to, uh, yeah, man. Yo, Ricky, look what I found today. I forgot I still had this. So this is the pin checklist from London, guys. So there's a guy, Stephen Moore Art, right there on the bottom right. Follow him on Instagram and Facebook, Stephen Moore Art. He makes these every year for celebration. Then he just uploaded it. That way we could print it and stuff. But this is the pin checklist. So, like, one of the biggest things at celebration is collecting pins. And as you can see, like, there's a ton. Like, the top row is, is all three packs. The second row is all mystery pins. The next row is some more three packs, some more three packs. And then we got sponsor pins that you have to go to 10 different vendors to get them. And then you have some other incentive pins, stuff you could only get in the show store. So every year he makes this. I pretty much have it for the last few celebrations. But as you guys can see, they release a lot of pins. I love this thing. I should get this thing framed. This thing is badass. But again, go check, go check them out, guys. Steven Moore Arts on Instagram and Facebook. He is a legend for making this every year. It's just so beautiful. So beautiful. I had to show that off. I forgot I, I, forgot I still had it. Uh, Ricky said that was clutch. Yeah, man. Chicago was the best. Good food. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, a Revenge of the Sith panel in Japan's, which says, it, which says it's better. Huh? So... Yeah, they better have the Revenge of the Sith panel there. Hayden and Natalie photo ops equals I'm broke. I need that. Yeah, that's a must because one, it's never been done. And two, Natalie doesn't do conventions like this. So if she shows up magically at Japan, you have to take advantage of that, man. Like, it's a rare thing. She might not never do a con after that. Smash Drum says, yo, that's a great idea. What? What I say? I forget. I forget. What did you say before? I don't even know, man. But thanks. Spo Spody says W stream. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He had the tragedy clip on deck. Oh, of course, man. That's such an iconic line. Checklist is a must. Yeah. I saw for plane tickets to Sky Scanner Comparator. It looks pretty good. What do you think? So I did all my research for plane tickets. So for me, flying from the States, for me, my best option is this airline. So I'm not even going to use other uh, like uh, other apps or like Skyscanner or Expedia to find the best deal. For me, flying from the States, a and a airline is the best bang for the buck because the economy seats, the cheapest seats 
are bigger on ANA airline than a regular airline. So literally off rip, I'm getting bigger, more space. And then you get two free luggage there and two free luggage coming back, which is awesome because I'm going to buy a ton of shit that I don't need over there. And that'll help me bring it back. So for me, I'm 100% booking it through ANA Airlines. I even watched... What are y'all doing? I even watched uh, two videos on YouTube on people who flew ANA Airlines, economy seats, and then whatever the next level was, which is premium economy, which is like $1,000 more than regular economy to see if it was worth it. And to me, after watching that video... I felt way better um, doing regular economy because originally I wanted to do the, the more expensive seats because I wanted more room. But a a Airlines has bigger seats for the base one. So this is what I'm flying for sure. And I cannot wait to book the ticket. So definitely check them out. Hugo, I think you're what? You're over there in Europe, right? I don't know what airline for you might be the best. So, so you got to just look into that. But I would watch videos on YouTube of people flying those airlines and looking at the economy seats versus premium economy just to see like you know but hugo how far is tokyo from where from where you are cuz for me it's 18 hour flight if i ever go to celebration i will get my luke skywalker lightsaber from galaxy's edge and Arkham Asylum Joker figure signed by Mark Hamill. That would be super cool. Super, super cool. Are you excited for the Acolyte? I am. I am. Even though the, the showrunner said dumb shit, I'm definitely looking forward to that show. I It has a chance to be a sleeper, really, really good show, but it also has a chance to suck balls. So we'll see. Give me one second, guys. I got to grab something real quick. I saw you, JT, and I went running. Bastard. <clears throat> All right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Now, my, my laundry finished, the dryer, so I have to open it. If not, it keeps beeping, and it would have just drove me nuts. So sorry, JT, I'm being responsible and doing my laundry in the middle of a stream. Uh, <laughs> All right, where was that? Before JT distracted me. What up, JT? Welcome to the stream, my guy. My London celebration. JT, you're going to Japan, right? You better go. I don't want... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're doing like... Like you're building swords and shit, right? When you go, you're doing something crazy. I'm going to have to meet you up for that shit. All right. Where where were we at? Boom, boom. Acolyte. Zenshi in the building. What's up, Zenshi? Welcome to the stream. Only pin set I got at London was the Leia R2 Wicked pre-order set. The Mandalorian set was sold out. Oh, this one. Yeah. You want to know what pins I got? You know what? I'll show you all real quick. <laughs> we got... All of them. I am financially irresponsible. And so is Ricky. Me and Ricky hunt down and we got the entire set. So so starting right there at that row, those top pins are just random pins. But we got every single pin. 
that top row is the the chases from the blind box every single pin every single one even Riva who I despise as a character I even got that just to complete the set even Andor too even boring ass Andor I got that as well but this is the first time I ever completed the pin set and now for Japan I'm going to do the same thing but I am uh, such a sucker for these pins I love it and actually the top top four were also London as well but I didn't get all those circle ones, though. I think there was like eight of them or, or ten of them. But, yeah, this is pretty much the complete pin set from London. And I'm going to do the same in Japan. I cannot wait. I cannot freaking wait to see the Japan pins for the reveals. <clears throat> so pins is something you slowly get into as you go to celebration. Like, my first celebration in Orlando 2017... I didn't buy any pins. I got a free pin at Funko, and I'm like, cool. Then Chicago, we start noticing them more. I got a couple. Goose, leave shit alone. Get out of here. Go. Then Anaheim, we got a ton. So we just went crazy and got as much as we could. And then when we went to London, the mission was to complete the set. Mission completed because we got the entire set. So I love it. I kind of want to start putting them in shadow boxes, but I like having it on me because like it's a little flex, but it's a great conversation piece when you're in line or when you're going anywhere and people see it. So I love that portion of it because like when people see it, they know, oh, he's going to celebration and it always sparks up like a good convo with people, whether it's at the airport, on your way to celebration, while you're traveling in that country, wherever it is, you know what I mean? So, where, oh, yeah. And let's say we got some more people in here, guys. So, shout out to all 28 of you guys watching. Be, oh, and someone's watching on Twitch, too. Shout out to you, Twitch watcher. So, be sure to drop a like, guys. Comment any questions you have about Japan. Oh, we lost one person. Comment any questions you have about Japan. Star Wars Celebration, and if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We will be covering everything from now till Japan for Celebration. Yes, hit that like button. Appreciate that. Even imagine a... F oh, my God. <clears throat> a trio with Hewan, Hayden, and Natalie... But it's possible with the 20th and yo, if that was a photo, that would be one of the most epic photos ever. The, the only other photo op that would be more epic than that is if we got. No. Yeah, if we if we had Hayden, Natalie and Mark Hamill, like the parents with their son, that would be badass. But if we were to get this trio, I would never financially recover. I would be in there. I wouldn't even know what to have on my T-shirt. Like, I'd be so confused on what to wear. To, to, like, it, it just would be crazy for Hayden, Hewan, and Natalie. Wow. I need to, like, Photoshop that just to see how that would look. That's crazy. Uh, oh, I live in, in France. I live in Paris. Paris. I look the shortest is between 16 or 17 hours by plane. Wow. So yeah, Hugo, Mr. Mr. French guy. I will look to see like just Google best best airlines from from France to Japan and see like what your options are. But damn, that's still a long ass flight for you too. That's crazy. Uh we need a goose intermission. <laughs> Brothers got to got to be clean. <laughs> Yo, you trying to go to Mario Land? Yeah. Yo, so JT, we're 100% going. I could let you know the dates on what, on what we're planning. I think I actually have the dates. Potentially, if we stick to our schedule, we're going we're gonna to be in Osaka for two days, right? And we're going to go to Universal, to Mario Land and Donkey Kong Country. I know I have the screenshot somewhere. God damn it. Where is it? I'd be screenshotting way too much stuff.
Yo, where the hell is that screenshot at, bro? Maybe it's in my notes. Oh, so if we go to Osaka, we're probably going to go to Universal Wednesday the 16th. So celebration starts the 18th, that Friday. We're going to be in Osaka Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday morning, come take the bullet train back to Tokyo. And then we're going to do Disney that Thursday. But yeah, JT, probably Wednesday, more than likely Wednesday the 16th, we'll be in Osaka at Universal. So come through. We'll be out there. Uh, wow, it was my first celebration and my first exposure to pins. Yeah, this is this is the worst addiction ever. And it's only going to get worse, especially with Japan, because, yeah, I I love it and hate it. That's $600 worth of pins. It pretty much is. I don't like to think of it or add it up, because the way we did it is we bought different, like, we bought some every day. So it was... When it's spread out over four days, it doesn't feel as bad. But if you do the math and really look at it, it's an unhealthy amount. Andrea, what's up? It's a slippery slope into pins. It really is. It's it is. I need a Shin versus Goose spinoff show now. Oh my God. That's so Lisi. Hey, hello there. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. You're not too busy for the stream today. Let's go. 100% need the three of them in one photo op. Yeah, it would be wild. In any case, I tell you this every live. It's a very good thing that you do lives like this before Japan. Yeah, man. I'm just trying to keep the hype going. And like, you know, we got 27 people in here right now. It's cool. But I have a feeling once we start getting info, I think these lives are going to get buck wild, especially... January, February, March, the three months before celebration, when we have actual news and info, I think these lives are going to be like popping off and going wild. I think before last year, I think I did a live the weekend before. I want to say, oh, I can actually look. I want to say at one point we had like 250 people in the live. Like it was like, holy shit, there's a lot of people in here. I'm going to give me one second. I'm actually going to take a look. I might be able to like see real quick. But I'm pretty sure it was like, wow. It was like people showed up. Was it this one? Um, Does it show the total number of viewers? So no, this one was 59. There was one where there was a lot. Oh, it was this 88. So we had 88 people in here. I'm thinking of the, a Hasbro stream I did that had like 250. So yeah, closer to Japan, these lives are going to be crazy. Balin and Shin were my faves too. I love how they were nice to each other and not aggressive, if that makes sense. No, for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gianni, what up, bro? Welcome to the stream. Damn, rest in peace to Carrie Fisher. That family photo would cripple me. Oh, if it would have been all four of them, oh, I wouldn't be able to handle that. Japan 2025, let's go. Do we know when Pastors dropped yet? Actually, since you were late to the stream, Andrea, we talked about that earlier, but I was kind of looking at past predictions. So... Chicago went on sale in June. London last year, we got the announcement right here on the 27th. And tickets went on sale Wednesday the 30th. So my best guess is this June, mid to late June, we'll get an announcement like this, giving us a 48-hour head notice. And then tickets will go on sale that Wednesday. And then literally last year, the minute tickets went on sale, they posted this. A minute later, VIP was gone. Then about 30 to 45 minutes later, four day was gone. And then sometime that same first day, Saturday was gone. And then Ricky mentioned three days later, Friday sold out. And then like a week later, Sunday sold out. So I think Japan 
tickets are going to sell way faster. So if you're trying to go, you need to buy tickets right away the minute they go live. Well, it's only about, what, two months? April, May. It's like three months, but so we're, they were just asking too about the price. So literally, if you want to get a three day pass, we were looking at the past prices of of like the four day badge. So London's four day was one ninety five, Anaheim's four day was one ninety five, Chicago's five day was two fifteen, and Orlando's four day was one seventy. So literally, Japan's three day badge pretty much can't be more than one ninety five. It should be less than that, realistically. So I was telling people earlier, Andrea, save like 200 bucks to the side, and that should be more than enough to cover the three-day pass. And you'll be good to go. So just stop buying blind bags every day like you do and put that blind bag money to the side, and you'll have your uh, your tickets. Do you think we'll get a new Star Wars series before a celebration? <laughs> What do you mean like a new series? We're going to get, we're getting like Acolyte probably in June. We're getting Tales, Skeleton Crew this year. Next year is probably Andor season two. Um, I think that's about it really. So everything else will probably get announced at Japan. Oh, you know what? You know what, Hugo? Hold on. I got to get hydrated. I think on May the 4th, they're going to announce a new animated show. And I think it's going to be either about the clones or about like Asajj Ventures. So I think a new show is going to get announced and we'll probably get that before celebration. Especially if it's animated because they're probably making it right now on the computer real quick. Acolyte has a solid writer's room with industry vets, according to Star Wars Megs, if you know her. Yeah, I know, Meg. I watch your stuff. Yeah, I mean, I saw the trailer for Acolyte at London Celebration. The trailer looks amazing. So if it delivers, it, it'll it be good. Um, I might be going to Japan solo, bro. Bro, you're not going solo. We're all going to go basically as together. So I think there's like 10 or 15 of us that are all going from Florida. So literally, bro, as soon as you get out there, we're all going to meet up. It's going to be wild, man. How long do you think you're going to go for, Gianni? I know me and my brother are probably going to do 11 days, maybe two weeks. But how long are you thinking? And don't be soft. Go for a long time. <clears throat> Billy, what up, bro? My guy, Billy, in the building. Yo, Billy, are you going to come to Japan next year? Just do it, bro. Come on. Japan celebration. It'll be like Chicago again. Don't don't sleep. All right, let's see what else I got. Oh, so shameless plug for tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Eastern, we're going live to break down the Dark Disciple book. So literally, we're getting Asajj in Bad Batch Season 3. So myself, Will from Diamond Figs, the, the two gentlemen at Mortis FM, and the two gentlemen at Beyond the Dune Sea, this is our book club, Tales from the Archives, and we are going to break down Dark Disciple tomorrow. So come check it out. It's, it's going to be a fun stream. I'll drop the link in the chat. And be sure to subscribe to all those guys, too. They're amazing. They make awesome Star Wars content. It's crazy. It's really good. For London, I didn't understand I had places two months before the event in February when, when you said they were available in June 2022. There are twice sales of places. Huh? I don't understand. I had two I had places two months before the event. I'm confused what you're saying, Hugo. But for London, that I don't know if tickets went on sale twice. I don't remember. I thought it was just then that one time. I know Anaheim tickets went on sale twice, but that's because of like of COVID and stuff. But now London should have just went on sale uh that June. And that's it. It was just that one time. So and speaking of Dark Disciple, look who showed up. 
Quinlan was here. Hello there. A little late. What up, Quinlan? Welcome to the stream. My guy, Quinlan Voss in the building. Bro, Quinlan, I'm, I'm finishing the book today. And man, Quinlan Voss in Dark Disciple, he is a badass move, dude, man. Like the way he's like macking it to Asajj and stuff. It's so awesome. I want more Quinlan Voss in like canon and live action or animated. Like so bad. Quinlan's freaking awesome. Super awesome. But all right, guys, keep the questions coming because if we don't get a lot more questions, then I'm probably going to hop off and take a nap because I love taking naps. But let's see what else I got for you. So we, I kind of showed you guys my airline. a and is how I'm flying. Um, another thing I'm going to be doing soon is converting my money like now because right now the yen is the lowest that it's ever been like ever. So literally like I have Bank of America. You could literally go to the website of your bank, type in foreign currency exchange, and then literally I could order yen. So like say I have an extra 200 bucks, right? I could literally convert that into 27,972 yen and just put that to the side and save it for Japan. So that's something to keep in mind is doing this beforehand. And, uh, you know, you'll have that yen. What type of food do they have to eat for us American folk during the convention? You know, that's a good question. And on one of the streams, somebody was talking about that, that the Makuhari Misi Convention Center, they said that the food there is really, really, really good. So I've never been there, but this is the convention center, Makuhari, and here's the restaurants that they have. So. We got the World's Kitchen. We got the Royal Garden Court. That's it? I think there's more. There's more than just two. But you get this, and you're going to like it. But now I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of spots in there. They got to have, like, a good variety because they know, like, a lot of Americans are going to be there. So, um, yeah, there's stuff there. Don't worry. I have a question. What's the weight? What's the weight of what? What are you talking about? You got to be specific. Sorry, my English is not always very good. In any case, I will take the places as soon as they're available this year. You mean for like the hotels and stuff? Yeah, they're not available yet. I was looking at that earlier, like through Expedia. It says they're sold out. It's It's been saying that for months, but these are the specific hotels that are literally walking distance to the convention center. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like seven of them that are a half a mile or less. So I think this is the one that I'm shooting for. This is the closest one. I think like around May is when they'll be available. Come on, show the rooms, you stupid Expedia. Oh, I won't show it because it's sold out. Whatever. But, yeah, I think this is the hotel. Look at this shit. This is crazy. Look at this. What? But there is a ton of options for hotels. So it, it also depends on where you want to stay, too, because you can stay by the convention center, which is what I'm doing on the last four days. But my first few days are going to be, like, in the heart of Tokyo, so there's literally hotels everywhere, and, like, the train system seems super easy to get around. So, yeah. Yo, what up, Red 5? Saki bombs in Tokyo. Bro, Tokyo is going to be so lit, man. I cannot wait, especially, like, when all of us get together over there. Bro, it's going to be trouble and fun. I cannot wait, man. Uh, It was a joke. That was your question. Yeah, but... Andrea, mine was a joke, but it was a question about what you were talking about. So technically, it was relevant. You just asked the weight out of nowhere. I asked the weight of the specific statue in ounces. So, ha. They're going to have food trucks, too. Saw that in a 360-degree walkthrough of the recent con. Oh, really? Really, really? 
let's uh let's check it out let's make sure uh lewis isn't lying to us so maku maku hari misi convention food truck Oh, hey, look at this video right here by Star Wars Sith breaking down Makuhari Misi Convention Center. Check out that video, guys. Anaheim. Two years ago, two years. I mean, yeah, I'm sure there'll be food trucks. There pretty much always is that celebration, whether it's outside or inside. Like, Anaheim had it outside. Um, London had food trucks on the inside, so... No, for sure. This is a cool stream. Thank you. Appreciate that. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to both channels. So depending on what you're watching, you could be watching on the main channel or you could be watching on the podcast channel because I'm live streaming from there too. So if you guys are watching from the main channel, be sure to subscribe to the podcast channel. I'm dropping the link in the chat right now. Also, if you guys like video games, right now I'm actually streaming Spider-Man 2 uh, New Game Plus on my gaming channel. So I'm going to drop that link in the chat too. Appreciate it if you guys check that out as well. So on the gaming channel, we do like Pokemon stuff, Zelda stuff, GTA, Spider-Man, all that good stuff over there. So a good variety. So appreciate all the love and support, guys. Let's see what else you guys got saying. Okay, okay. I have a question. What is your biggest dream of all of your dreams? Right now, to meet Mark Hamill. <laughs> I want to meet Luke Skywalker. Like, yeah, I really want to meet Luke Skywalker. So that is my dream right now. Uh, so what is your favorite Star Wars is number three. We agree it's the best for me. Yeah, my favorite is Revenge of the Sith, hands down. That's my favorite movie. Cole, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're good. Yeah, I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm trying to find the video now for sure. But all right, guys, I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today. I appreciate all you guys coming out. If you guys are watching on the replay, again, be sure to comment your questions. I'll reply to all the comments. But that's everything I have for you guys today. And I'll see you guys next month for the next live stream. Bye, guys. Maybe. <laughs>